What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta check out Ric Flair needs to be stopped by none other than refs or wrestling gifts. You guys have been telling me I need to check this out. You guys have been hitting me up on Instagram and Twitter. Please check this out. So that's what I'm going to do. I know Ric Flair has been in the wrestling news once again for I guess potentially having another match of sorts. I'm not sure, but we're gonna check this out. Appreciate all the love and support. Let's get right into this damn thing. I will only retire when I'm dead in this ring. Guys, sounds what like the Rick. fuck is wrong that with Ric like Flair? Ric Flair is one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. A man who has been wrestling before my mom was even alive. A man who has been wrestling longer than anyone watching this video has been alive. A man who has won so many championships, so many classic matches. A man who had one of the greatest retirement matches in wrestling history. Mm -hmm. In front of 80,000 people at WrestleMania against Shawn Michaels, he had such a perfect storybook ending to a legendary career. But apparently... That nope. wasn't enough. It Yo, wasn't. Ric Flair needs to be stopped. This is not a joke. This is not a meme. This man is on a fucking suicide mission and it's going to be broadcasted live on pay-per-view for the entire world to watch. Because why not? Ric Flair at 73 years old is about Jeez. to wrestle. He's about to go out there and take some bumps, fall off the top rope. He's about to go out there and probably bleed. He's about to wrestle for no reason. Guys, this is the man who had one of the greatest wrestling retirements in history. And he's... Yeah, he definitely did have one of the greatest, re like... That retirement match easily, without a doubt, was one of the greatest retirement matches you could possibly ever see. Story there, the emotion was there. It was just fantastic. I like the whole lead up to it, the build. Every Ric Flair match felt important because the stipulation was if Ric Flair lost one more time, he's out. He has to retire. And every match seemed that important i like that storyline because was this going to be the night he has to retire so he still wants to go out there in some random bingo convention hall and die this is a man who almost died two years ago rick flair was on his deathbed twice in the yeah. past five years first back in 2017 he was placed in a coma for yeah. 11 days after suffering a ruptured intestine and then in 2019 he spent another six days getting more surgeries after a health scare rick flair himself has said that he almost died and the doctors were surprised to see that he made it through but yo beside all that beside almost dying this man has a pacemaker in his chest a pacemaker is a small device that's placed in the chest to help control the heartbeat it's yeah. used to prevent the heart from beating too slowly implanting a pacemaker in the chest requires a surgical procedure a pacemaker is also called a cardiac pacing device does this sound like a man who should be in the ring but not nah, apparently apparently we gotta get the bag and yo we gotta make it a big ass event no no rick and i love me some rick flair love me some rick flair but no just like Triple H had to kind of step away from the ring. And I'm sure Triple H would have loved to at least got one more good match in. Triple H had to step away from the ring because his health, he knows his health is more important. Rick, bro. Rick, bro, we need you here. <laughs> the, we, we, we don't need you out here, you know, trying to prove to us that you're still the man. You will always be the man, even though there's still con some controversy surrounded around him. He will still always be the major boy you don't have nothing else to prove especially but you gotta have you having a pacemaker like just re just relax rick rick flair's last match live on pay-per-view for only 30 dollars. but guys 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 why only pay 30 dollars when you can pay 200 dollars to watch an old man die in the ring because just for 200 dollars, you get the entire card of rick flair's last match along with the roast of rick flair because yes that that that's what we need right man who cries every time he's given a microphone a man who is down so bad a man who is so just sad let's all gather around and roast him because that's what we need but that's, Wait, that's a real not even thing? the best part. If you get the special $200 bundle, you get something even more. You will have a piece from the event in your home because with this bundle, you receive exclusive ring use canvas piece in a commemorative limited edition plaque. 
What the fuck? Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because when you guys catch a case for negligence and Ric Flair dies in the ring, I don't want to have to return the plaque for evidence. You have Ric Flair who, let's be real, after all this shit he's done to his body, the drinking, the heart issues, the injuries, it's a miracle that he's not dead. And now he's going to the ring for no reason. Literally no reason. There's probably only going to be like, what, two, three hundred people there screaming, ah, nature boy, nature boy. They're all probably going to look like this. And it's just <laughs> sad. It is so sad. And I get it. Okay, Ric Flair is a guy who wants to do things, right? When Flair has something on his mind, he wants to do it. He wants to go out there. He yeah. wants to wrestle. But how would you as a promoter allow this? But but regardless of that, you, you know, the promoter is always going to be out there to make money, right? So like, whatever, you can't really blame the promoter. But guys, their promoter is Conrad Thompson, Ric Flair's son-in-law. Huh? How, how do you allow this, ba fam? That's your family. This is not a good idea. And then he is out there and he's defending this decision. Yo, th this is just sick. This is wrestling at its absolute worst. Whatever the reason is, whatever could possibly be the reason like oh flair needs money no it's it's not worth it flair go do some commercials go sign some merchandise go do a meet and greets why are you trying to die rick flair has become such a sad sad man i get this man had some tragic situations in his yeah. life but bro you were one of the goats your daughter is killing it in the wwe you got a new son-in-law stop trying to act like you're 30 stop getting married and divorced every few years just just settle down old man but nah he wants the clout he wants to go to lakers games and go out and do all these things and be the nature boy right he wants to be the man which is fine you know what go do that even though you should probably be at home chilling taking it easy go try to live your life like a superstar that's fine but there is no need to wrestle my guy this is the wrestling disease at its absolute best rick flair needs the love of the crowd so bad because the only way rick flair can feel special is if he has a few hundred people bowing down to him and cheering for him the only time rick flair feels like he brings value to this world is when he's wrestling and yo i get it it's tough it's hard out here because all you know is wrestling and you're so used to that validation but come on man like you gotta move on rick flair watched the movie the wrestler and i swear to god he got the absolute opposite message of what was supposed to come across rick flair is actually going to go out like randy the ram he is literally trying to recreate that movie i don't know man the people who are involved in this promoting this everything like yo you guys should be ashamed like this is the dark side of wrestling rick flair is gonna pull up and take one bump and boom magic it's a casket match they had the press conference for this and they're all sitting there in their suits acting all like so elite and so proud of what they're doing like come on man at the press conference okay rick flair said the only concerns health wise in training and returning was his inner ear issues blood thinners that he won't take that one day and his pacemaker oh you can just you know plug it back in so This is, this is not just no simple battery pack, my guy. This is something that's helping you stay alive. Like, I love Ric Flair. I love the personification of the character and what he means to wrestling as a whole. But I don't want to see this man. And I'm not wishing this. I don't even want to put this out there, you know, in the sense of, oh, this will happen. But I don't want to see him put himself in a situation where it jeopardizes his health. I think the correlation with people not being able to let it go when it comes to wrestling, they end up jeopardizing their health more than anything else to get that one last thrill, to get that one last crowd reaction, to get that one last, uh, you know, thank you adulation from the fans and ultimately it 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 tarnishes in my opinion it tarnishes the wrestler's end of his career because what he's done in the past will forever be remembered is what you keep doing as we know your career isn't the same as we know as it's, it's winding now you do certain things you agree to certain matches to get that one last thrill and it never lives up so you got to get one more match and one more match i just prefer rick to chill but i'm also one of those people that's like do what makes you happy this clearly makes him happy i don't think it's the smartest decision at all i am one of those people i'm like i would definitely like yo chill rick but this is something that he just cannot let go. And I do believe he will try to keep wrestling to the day he dies. So I it's it's, it's this is just wild.
says Ric Flair. Only. The keyword, only. Guys, guys, apparently, apparently we're just tripping because those are the only issues, the only concerns. You know, the only issues are, you know, the heart, the blood is hard pumps, and, you know, just standing up right. Apart from that, guys, he's 100%. He's going to go out there. He's going to crush it. Five-star match. Amazing. What the? F this crackhead. This addict this maniac he legit said yo yo it's light bro i'll just plug on my pacemaker put it back in there and you know i'm good as new fam it's a pacemaker not an internet modem you can't just restart it like it's a modem if we restart it you are probably not gonna come back you don't just take out a pacemaker and plug it back in it's not like it's on your chest you're not iron man right there's nothing on yeah. your chest you just take out and put back in you need surgery to change it or take it out or do anything to it and yo if that wasn't enough you guys already know it ain't a rick flair match unless rick flair is bleeding oh, right yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, he's gonna hold it down because he plans on blading. Flair jokes that he won't have a chisel with him to blade like he did back in the day, but I will have something on me for the Oh man. <laughs> I just I just want Rick to relax. That's all I want Rick to do. He's about to blade. He's about to He's about to go in. And will this really be his last match? Can we say that with Rick Flair? Will it truly be his last match? How many times have we heard that? The love of God, Flair, you're on blood thinners and, and you want to bleed? First of all, many of you are probably wondering what do blood thinners even do? Well, blood thinners, you know, these medications reduce the blood's ability to clot, lowering your risk of a stroke. Mm -hmm. Your body creates clots to stop you from bleeding. If you fall or bump, keyword bump, your head while taking a blood thinner, you may have internal bleeding even if there's no external sign you've been hurt. And this man wants to make himself bleed. Yo, he is going to be bleeding out there like it's Niagara Falls. There's going to be oh, so much man. blood out there. It's going to look like a horror movie. I, I, I can't. I can't. This man has more issues with his body than my parents have in their marriage, and he's gonna go out there and he's Wait, gonna what? wrestle. And like a user on Reddit said, Conrad Thompson's trial for a negligent homicide is going to be interesting. This is just sad, man. Ric Flair survived a plane crash in the 1970s, a plane crash that should have killed him, and mm -hmm. he still overcame it and he went on to become one of the greatest wrestlers of all time. He wrestled in the 80s, the 90s, even the 2000s on the biggest stages of them all. Anything you can imagine, Ric Flair did it in the business, and he went out in a legendary match and even though there were ups and downs and even though post wrestlemania 24 he had some stints in tna you know what it was fine it's okay because all we remember is wrestlemania 24 that's all that matters but not it's not good enough apparently the only thing he can do is like the ultimate sacrifice and die in the ring and the thing is he he literally wants to do that he proclaims that he you know shares that with the world like that's something that he actually is down for this man needs help he, he doesn't need to wrestle that that is the last that that he will he stands by those words he would die in the ring before being in the icu that's that's him and i i don't even know what to say to that that's that's just how much he needs wrestling how much he loves wrestling last thing he should be doing he doesn't need cheers from the fans he doesn't need to take any bumps he doesn't need people bowing down to him he needs therapy i don't care if he's 73 years old this man needs therapy he needs all the therapy in the world yo conrad shouldn't be promoting a wrestling match he should be starting a gofundme to get this man help if he really needs the money that bad send him to therapy help him out but nah this man is going to die in the ring and is going to be live on pay-per-view in some bingo convention hall in nashville tennessee of all places getting cheered by a bunch of idiots and the thing is this is the this is the worst part if he survives right which i obviously hope he does i don't want rick flair to die if he survives this you already know this won't be his last match I just because said if that. wrestlemania 24 wasn't good enough for him this is definitely not going to be good enough if rick flair survives this you are you already know they're going to have a rick flair last hurrah worldwide tour and also you know the crazy part is you have a bunch of boomers on rick flair's youtube channel in the comments supporting this i stand with you and support you rick show these young wrestlers nowadays what's it like to bleed sweat and tear and take them to school woo for a horseman for bro shut the fuck up all i can say is i will be there nature's always mine and my best friend's all-time favorite and there really isn't a close second my buddy passed away in 2011 so i'll be there representing us both yeah yeah man don't don't even worry about it flair is gonna meet your buddy soon anyway i can't believe this is happening this shouldn't be happening this is just sad this is why i hate wrestling only in wrestling will stuff like this happens in this bs carny business and it's like yo if one of the greatest wrestlers of all time has to resort to this like that's that's just sad you would think out of all the wrestlers in the world that rick flair right the nature boy would be chilling in his old age 
But nah, man, once that wrestling disease gets a grip on you, nobody is safe. I said it before, Ric Flair needs to be stopped. What the? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted to make this for a while. Ever since the news about this match started coming out, I really wanted to touch on this. It's it's insane. It's literally insane. In the comments below, leave down your thoughts and everything. I don't even know what their else is to Yeah, man. I, I get his point. Granted, going a little I wouldn't say extreme. He's he's kind of uh going a little bit uh I guess too far with the uh the the uh, the jokes of him dying because i i don't really hope that to happen and I, i'm sure he doesn't hope that to happen too i get what he's saying and the points he's making i agree with i do agree with wrestling gifts i think rick should be chilling but i also understand rick flair's point this is all he knows this is it when someone that this is all they know it's hard to tell them no. It's hard to tell them to sit down. Even though you should be telling them, it's 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 gonna be hard for them to listen. Cause you wanna know why? This is all they know. This is their belief on why they're on this earth. Relationships may fail, but this is a constant for them. So I get why he can't let it go. And I get why Wrestling Gibbs feels like this is not a good idea. They just get in very badly and has, you know, not really feeling this. And other people not feeling feeling this. I don't want to just paint Wrestling Gibbs as the only person that doesn't like this. I'm in his camp on not liking this. But at the same time, I'm also kind of in the camp of, I don't like it. But who am I to tell how someone to live out the rest of their days? I can't tell you. Don't go out there and do what you love. Do I think you should do it? No, just for physical reasons. But I also can't tell you, don't go do it because, you know, of physical reasons. Even though I, it, it's it's one of those things. It's like, yeah, you shouldn't do it because of your health, but you're going to do it anyway. <laughs> it's one of those situations. You're going to do it anyway. And even if I tell you no, Please don't do that. You're going to do it anyway because that's what makes you happy. So I'm one of those people. I'm indifferent. I just hope the guy is okay when it's all said and done. I pray that nothing happens to him seriously and he doesn't end up hurting himself in this match. But comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys on the camp of Ric Flair should not be doing this at all? And this is this is acidine and dumb and stupid. Are you in a camp of, hey, man, it's your life. This is what you love to do. Go ahead. Do what you do. If you happen to die in the ring, then you die doing what you love. Or are you in the camp of where I'm at? I'm kind of indifferent. I don't think it should happen. But at the same time, I get why he's so passionate and why he still wants to wrestle. So comment down below. Let me know. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road 2. 90K, appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one.